So, hello and welcome to another video. So, what is this? This is a low effort, one take, zero retries video about what has changed since the last what has changed video. Right. I kind of made a bit of an error when I was making this. I didn't think this through. Because what do I do? Do I explain everything that's changed so people only have to watch one video and only release one video? Or do I release 20 different watch change videos for the next 20 patches? And then everyone who watches any of my basic guides then has to watch a further 20 what's changed videos. Yeah. Hmm. So, <laughs> Open to suggestions, guys, because I don't really know what to do about this. What I might do is just start a new set of basic guides when Path of Fire comes out. September 22nd, hype time. When Path of Fire comes out, he says, continuing his sentence, um, we start a new set of basic guides about the builds beca that become meta then. Um, and we're just going to have a brief, and I do mean brief, explanation of what was in the August 8th patch so how brief um a look at this patch oh we're gonna, well we're gonna look at any professions why are we not gonna look at any professions because uh that was a text message ignore that why are we not gonna look at any professions because nothing has really changed that much in the professions mostly it's the consumables and that is what i'm going to focus on during this and also the fact that the expansion is coming out in a month as well meaning everything is going to change at that point everything's going to be up in the air massive panic you know dogs falling in love with cats mass hysteria so for now let's just look at the consumable changes so what did they do they changed all the maintenance oils and they changed the sharpening stones um in uh, in a very specific way now all the sharpening stones are for power builds all the tuning crystals are for condition builds, and if my phone will now just get put on silent so it does not interrupt again. Um, all the... Uh, where was I? Yeah, all the maintenance oils are for um, other things. So, what's that left us with? Well, the main power of um, consumable now is going to be potent superior sharpening stones. And these are one hour longs, or you can use the superior ones as well that are 30 minutes. Um, these are also functionally similar to fruitcake for all those people who have been on uh, the QT website and seen fruitcake as the thing that you should be getting. Well, these things are exactly the same. So um, fruitcake or potent sharpening stones. And I haven't done the maths, but I suspect in some builds, this might be a better consumable. I'm going to trust the people behind the scenes with spreadsheets that they've done this right. But I'm just going to mention this food at this consumable rather anyway. Um, eight furious sharpening stones. Gain power equal to 3% of your precision. Gain ferocity equal to 3% of your precision. So it strikes me as characters with high amounts of precision, you could potentially get higher results with this. And I did actually get higher results with um, my new Power Mesmer, which I've been trying out, um, which uh, I won't go into now. Uh, it's, it's dull as hell anyway. Um, so I got higher results with this uh, on that one anyway. But um, so for going back to what the, the basic power food is, uh, power consumable is, is potent superior sharpening stones. And the basic Conley um, consumable is going to still be toxic focusing crystals. Now, some builds um, are focusing on uh, focusing for toxic. Fo they are toxic focusing on having. Oh dear, I I I really need to get better puns. Um, moving on. So they're focusing. God, I can't stop myself. They're focusing. Use the word right. They're focusing on on just actually having enough expertise wow it took me a long time to get that sentence out having enough expertise in your gear without having to get extra expertise so these focusing crystals are still the best consumable for most condi builds um because they give you condition damage but not condition duration so these furious tuning crystals give you um expertise condition duration 
So you might find with these um, changes to food, there's been some considerable nerfs to the length of, like, if you look at this, this used to be, it's now 100 expertise. This used to be 20% condition duration. Now that's a huge nerf. It turns the combination of all the consumables down from, like, 30% extra duration to a maximum of, like, 9.8 or something like that. Um, so what you can do to a little bit... Um, up your expertise again if you your expertise is quite low is use this the nine uh, well uh, you have to use nine of them at once furious tuning crystals gain condition damage equal to three percent of your precision and gain expertise equal to three percent of your precision um so this won't work very well on condition warriors because you don't have very high precision but a lot of classes where you have reasonable high precision and you don't quite have an expert expertise um this is a nice consumable um so moving swiftly on to the chronomancer stuff so there's two new consumables that i would use for chronomancer um firstly what most chronomancers will be using is these are these master maintenance oils and these are the same things as um if i just remember i think they're the same um i can't i can't remember actually do you know what i'll just go and look at my bank but there's there's a consumable which does this um uh, one of the holiday consumables, I think. Um, basically, gain concentration. So concentration is the boon stat, the boon duration stat. And where is it? Ah, uh, yes, here. So peppermint oils, right? Of course, couldn't remember what a peppermint oil was. Um, so, yeah, those are the same as peppermint oils, and they will give you concentration, which is boon duration. And previously, we had no boon duration in this slot, so this is a nice change. Um, oh, sorry, uh, we had no healing power. So, yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself. So, Bountiful Maintenance Oils. Um, gain 0.6% outgoing healing for every 100 healing power and gain 0.8% outgoing healing for every 100 concentration. So, this is a minstrel chronomancer's dream, this thing. And previously, you, pr you had no access to outgoing healing percentage from your consumable, it was all from this, the delicious rice balls and the sigil, which um, increases your outgoing heal effectiveness by 10%, as you can see there. Um, but now you've got it on your consumable as well. So this is really good for druid builds. This is also really good for minstrel chronos. Anything that uses healing power, very nice consumable. And then the rest of the chronomancers will be wanting to use this. Um, so that is a about it in terms of what consumables have changed um we have had a number of balance changes and things like that but as i said i'm not going to go into them because the expansion is just around the corner and um you know there's lots there's going to be lots that changes then um what you can look out for on my channel if you care at all i hope you do is when the weekend hits this, I'm going to release a video that has no commentary at all. So if the commentary annoys you, you'll love this one. And I'm just going to mouse over every trait and every skill in the expansion. Just that. It's going to be in PvP, so the numbers might be a bit odd. But the func functionality will be available. Um, and I'm going to release that video pr you know, pretty much as soon as I can. So uh, if you want a reference guide, that's going to be a very good video for you. If you want to start build making before the expansion and you want the act you know, you want to see something other than what people have put on the wiki, which can be sometimes a little bit a little bit iffy, then you can look at that. So I, I think that's all I have to say for the time being. Um if anyone has any ideas about how I'm gonna improve this series, maybe I should just end this series and have like the best builds in Path of Fire. You know, like Path of Fire builds. Basic Path of Fire builds. I can see it now, written on the wall in lights. That's pretty dumb. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and uh, tell a friend.